Welcome to Nona Peggy. Here we go, out to the kitchen. Welcome to Nona Peggy. Hi family and friends. Now we're back into the kitchen and today I'm going to do a traditional plate from Rome. I learned this when I lived in Castelnuovo di Porto. Ciao a tutti gli amici, ciao! And it's with filled tomatoes with rice, uh, risotto rice, and potatoes uh, in the oven. So I will show you all the ingredients. Here you can see we use four tomatoes, four potatoes, a piece of garlic, we have four tablespoons of rice, canaroli, that's the rice you use for risotto, three tablespoons of parmesan, olive oil, salt and pepper, basil, parsley and oregano. So let's start. So we start with the tomatoes. We cut off a lid this way and we keep the lid apart. We do that with all the four tomatoes and the inside of the tomato we put in a bowl. Everything unless the hard piece in the middle. We put some salt into the tomato. Into the bowl we are now going to put four spoons of rice. Don't put any more, the rice will grow when it's cooking and it will be very hard if it's too much. And four. Now we have three spoons of parmesan. A mixture of parsley and oregano, salt and pepper all together and olive oil don't you be greedy with the olive oil, parmesan and hugs they are important in life so this is what we're going to put into the tomatoes we leave it apart for 15 minutes to swallow a little bit in the meantime we cut up our potatoes the four potatoes. So that is the rice resting with all the good things together and the tomatoes we should pass a little bit of garlic inside every tomato like this. Or you could even press some garlic into every tomato if you like. The Italians don't, funny enough. But we do. So we're back, the 15 minutes are gone and we're now going to put our rice into the tomatoes. There was so much rice left so I could, I cut up another tomato and made another one filled with the rice. Here they are. Now we're going to put some salt and drizz olive oil on top of everything. I've put back the lid that we cut off in the beginning. Don't they look gorgeous? 45 to 60 minutes in a preheated oven, um, 180 Celsius degrees and 350 Fahrenheit. See you in 45 minutes. So this is the result after 45 minutes in the oven, 180 degrees. Mmm, I'm sorry you can't fit the perfume in here. 